Karibu alafu utaleta machogu hata kama mlivunja protocol. Na sisi kivunjika tunanga shida, tunafanya kazi mzuri. Karibu. Sante governor, tumeomba msamaha. Avantu vami into Buyamure. Buyamure naende. Asante mheshimiwa rais. Najua bishop alisema mimi ni kijana wa nyumbani na ni kweli. Sababu huyu Zahir Osoro hata governor wetu Simba Arati au wote ndugu yane. Kwa hivyo gaiga ninka na nafurahi kutembea kisi tena na hasa kujumuika kwa ibada asubuhi na neno ambalo tumepewa na Sheikh Omari na Apostle Steve na kwa namna wameongea mambo yanayogusana sana mambo ya upendo mambo ya undugu na umoja wetu kama wa Kenya na pia ni mambo ambayo viongozi hasa seneta wetu seneta Onyonka amegusia na viongozi wengine wa hapa kisi kwa hivyo ni kweli sisi wote hapa kisi tunataka kuishi kama mandugu viongozi wa shirikiane ili wananchi waweze kupata manufaa kwa mambo ya maendeleo na hata sisi ambao tunatoka kwingineko tukiwatembelea tunafurahi wakati tunasikia mmeshikana kama mandugu ili kushirikiana kwa mambo ya maendeleo bila vita bila migogoro hata leo mheshimiwa rais nimejua ndugu yangu nimekaa na ndugu yangu Simba Arati bunge miaka kumi na sikujua ako na jina lingine Paul sasa wakati aliitwa Simba Paul Arati nikauliza ni Saul mwenye alikuwa Saul akabadilika akakuwa Paul ama amebatizwa hapa lakini Jafet anambia ni kweli ni jina lake na venye governor ameongea nimesikia kweli huyu ni kama yule Saul wa Biblia mwenye alikuwa kidhani sasa ameanza kuona mwangaza akuwe Paul na tunakukaribisha governor tufanye kazi pamoja hivyo na kubaliana na wewe kabisa kwetu hakuna barabara hata moja ilichomwa hakuna kijana hata mmoja alirusha mawe na hakuna aliyeumia hakuna mali ya uma iliharibiwa wakati wa maandamano sababu sisi tuliandamana kwenda mashambani kulima na pia nimesikia Jafet akiuliza mambo ya SGR akasema hapa watu wa Kisi hawajui kungoa reli kwa hivyo rais hata mimi naungana na wao viongozi kuuliza tafadhali SGR ikipita kama inaweza pitia hapa ibebe mandizi hakuna mtu atangoa Jafet na Zimba Arati wamesema hiyo na hata mabarabara hakuna mtu atakaye abomoa ama kuyachoma wakati wa maandamano nataka niseme pia maandamano ni haki ya kila mkenya lakini katiba na sheria zetu zina jinsi ya kufanya maandamano inasema you have the right to protest to demonstrate to picket peaceably and unarmed usiwe na silaha yoyote Ukiandamana upige polisi mawe kutakuwa na hasara simba rati hapo tusidanganyane kwa hivyo tunapo mobilize vijana tuwaambie maandamano bemba, beba kitambaa nyeupe sio mawe na usibebe panga sababu ukionyesha polisi panga na ako na bunduki risasi lazima itatembea sababu pia kisheria polisi ana haki kisheria kutumia bunduki kulinda maisha yake maisha ya mkenya mwingine ama kulinda mali ya umma. Kwa hivyo ningeuliza tu kwa heshima. Hata kama watu wanaandamana tuandamane bila fujo. Na mheshimiwa rais ni kupongeze. Sababu ile aposto amesema na Sheikh akasema juu ya undugu. Na aposto akasema atumie slogan nyingine ambao walisema yawezekana ama inawezekana na kuna wengi ambao hawakuamini inawezekana mtoto ambaye amezaliwa na mama na baba ambao hawajulikani ambao hawana majina makubwa awe rais wa Kenya lakini kupitia maombi na kura za wananchi wakiwemo hapa kisi wewe ndiye rais wa leo wa Kenya 
Ajua rais wakati Apostle Peter alisema inawezekana na akataja mambo akasema inawezekana. Nikasema kweli inawezekana. Sababu ulituambia wakati wa campaign ya kuwa kitendawili haitaanza ni maendeleo yataendelea na ikawezekana rais. Juzi pia umetuambia hii maandamano ya fujo ya kurusha mawe ya kungoa reli ya kuchoma barabara ya kuharibu maisha ya wananchi hii maandamano itakoma na Simba Arati hakuamini itakoma sasa leo ndiyo mwenye anasema watu wazichome barabara na inawezekana kwa Mungu na kwa watu kufanya kazi pamoja inawezekana haiwezekani pia nimesikia Gavana wetu amerudia mara mbili na mara ya tatu pia ya kusema wewe rais ulitushinda kwa uchaguzi na ni kweli lakini ulishinda ushindi wa wakenya wote na ndio ningemuuliza kwa heshima gavana sababu former prime minister ndiye kiongozi wako pia muambie akubali alishindwa sababu akikubali hata kuwa na nafasi ya kuwazomea mabalozi wa nchi marafiki wetu wakisema ukweli ule ule ukweli tu unasema hapa ya kuwa rais na Kenya kwanza walishinda uchaguzi and that is the truth because when we socialize ourselves with the truth there is peace in the country there is peace within us and there is even peace in heaven and i want to appeal to our friends those that competed with you your excellency we have seen a very unfortunate incident where leaders are lecturing our diplomatic community and it is sad when leaders who hold offices leading parties in our country lecture our diplomatic community on the basis of issues that they know are true and we are fortunate your excellency and i want to encourage you there is nothing absolutely nothing neo colonialist with an ambassador of a friendly nation speaking not just for her country but also speaking for the host country where she is serving her country there is absolutely nothing neo colonialist about an ambassador speaking to her investors back in the country where they come from to come and invest in our country here so that we are able to value add on the bananas that are being grown by farmers in Kisi it is those investors from the united states who will come together with those from china and other countries who will come and invest in this country and create job opportunities for our young people your excellency i want to encourage you that stay focused as apostle peter said be that elephant that does not look down focus on delivering fertilizer to our farmers focus on restoring our roads focus on rebuilding our economy like nehemiah said with god in heaven we shall succeed i want to believe your excellency with god in heaven ahead of us we shall succeed in rebuilding to have a prosperous nation for all of us and that is why i also want to take this opportunity to encourage all our friends even in the diplomatic community do not be discouraged by the naysayers be encouraged that many kenyans appreciate the friendship of your countries they appreciate your friendship as ambassadors and heads of mission who are serving our country who are serving in our country representing your country's interests but we feel fortunate that you can also take time to advance the interests of our own country and our economy in your bigger economies for the prosperity and for the betterment of the lives of our people kwa hiyo mengi mheshimiwa rais nataka nimuulize kwa heshima Sijui kama ni ndugu ama ni baba yangu ni ndugu na ni baba yangu anasema sababu huyu CS wetu wa elimu 
Mheshimiwa Zeki Elmachogu alikuwa DO nikiwa kijana mdogo sana nikiwa class 3 na alininyorosha nikakuwa kijana mwenye adabu na na kukaribisha sana waziri karibu